Today you're going to be taking a look at the Roadmaster Universal Stoplight Switch Kit, part number RM-751000. Here's what our Universal Stoplight Switch Kit looks like once we have it installed. The reason why you'd want a stoplight switch kit, there's going to be several different reasons. If you're flat towing a vehicle like we're doing, our stoplight switch kit is going to hook into our braking system so we can have a monitor to know exactly when the pedal's moving. Another good reason why you'd want a stoplight switch kit is if you're adding a brake controller to your vehicle and you can't find the cold side of the brake switch to send the signal out. Well this is going to give us a cold side of the brake switch so it's only going to come on when the brake pedal is depressed. You can see there's a small light on the side and when I move the pedal the light's going to come on. But when it goes back to the home position the light goes out. This is becoming more and more common on vehicles that have sensitive electronics and they're not going to have a cold side of the brake switch. So it makes it very difficult to install a brake controller. Well this is going to mount directly to the brake pedal arm and there's going to be a sensor that's going to be pointing towards the firewall. Once it has the home position set and it realizes there's any movement, it energizes that signal and it sends it out. Installation is going to be very straightforward. We'll find a spot on our brake pedal arm that we can attach our switch to. Just want to make sure it has a clear shot of anything and nothing's going to be moving in front of it. Once you have the spot, you can zip tie it to the brake pedal arm, and then we're only going to have three wires to hook up. One for power, one for ground, and then we're going to have the blue wire that's going to be our brake signal. So whether you're flat towing a vehicle or adding a brake controller to a car and you can't find the brake signal, this is going to make it to where we can make a brake signal and have a very accurate reading because it's going to have that sensor going to the firewall. So here's everything that's going to come with our stoplight switch kit. We're going to have all the necessary wires and hardwares to hook it up. And the switch itself, if we look at it, you'll notice it's going to have a plug on both ends. And that's where the harness is going to plug into. Now on the front here, where this tab is, that's where the sensor is going to be. This is going to need to point towards the firewall. And then we'll have this double-sided foam tape that's going to stick our switch directly to the brake pedal arm. And then these holes, we'll use the included zip ties to completely fully secure it so it won't move. As far as the harness goes itself, we're only going to have to hook up three wires. We'll have a red wire for our power source, a black wire for our ground, and our blue wire is going to be our brake output signal. So we'll hook our blue wire up to the monitor system for our supplemental braking system. Now as far as the power goes, we're going to have two different options of how we can hook it up. We'll have a fuse tap where we can find a fuse that has constant power. We can use that for a power source or we can extend the wire out to the battery and use a fuse holder to get our power. Now on our switch, there's going to be a hole. Inside there, there's going to be a recess button. We're going to need to press that button whenever it's time to set the home position. So I figured I would show you now because it is going to be rather difficult to see once it's in position on the brake pedal arm. That will finish up your look at the Roadmaster Universal Stoplight Switch Kit, part number RM-751000.